Hi, I'm Dr. Ben Salento, and I'm the owner of Texas Sinus and Snoring. The following is a presentation on the origins of snoring. When a patient is sleeping, air moves in and out slowly past the hanging soft palate and uvula and through the vocal cords. Obstruction of the nasal airway, such as a deviated septum, allergic swelling of the turbinates, or chronic sinus inflammation can create rapid and turbulent flow. This rapid airflow creates a suction current vibrating and stretching the soft palate and uvula. The suction current also pulls the tongue back into the airway. These forces create snoring and sleep apnea as the negative pressure pulls the tongue back, obstructing the airway. If the patient has an open mouth position secondary to nasal con congestion, this position further accentuates the obstruction by allowing the mobile jaw and tongue to fall back into the airway. Mouth breathing also dehydrates the tongue, which re results in progressive enlargement of the tongue, increasing the chance of sleep apnea. After Dr. Salento performs the advanced balloon sinoplasty procedure, the forces that create vibration, snoring, and sleep apnea are reduced, and the patient can typically sleep with a closed mouth. In some cases, the addition of an oral appliance may also be needed, or surgical manipulation of the back of the throat or the Inspire implant, which uses the patient's own musculature to open the airway. Alternatively, a nasal pillow CPAP can be used to push the tongue forward to reduce snoring and sleep apnea.